Red flag number two, gaps in your employment. Explain why you got the gap in your CV. Reassure the hiring manager why you won't do it again or you don't foresee yourself having such a situation. Make sure you also share what you picked along the way. What are the skills? What are the insights? What is the wisdom that you got during that gap? And finally, keep it short. Sometimes when you over explain, you expose and even say so many other things that are not necessary. We get gaps in our employment due to so many reasons. It's not that if you have a gap, it's because things are bad or you are fired. You might have taken a gap because you want to pursue further studies, either because of illness, it can be because of um, caring for someone else, not career for someone else. Ah, that's a mistake. Caring for someone else. There are family members who are either sick, they are ailing, they are aging, or you might even just decide because I want to take care of my children, I want to be around them as they grow. So you take that um, gap. It might be about family issues, yeah? Your own issues, your family. It might be personal issues. Maybe your mental health or maybe things are not working with your current employer so you decide to end the job. It can also be out of redundancy. You are uh, retrenched, things did work out, or uh, yeah, like right now, technology and all this, it is making so many jobs to be redundant. COVID sent so many people home, and even right now, several people are still uh, struggling. It might be, you got fired, yeah. We can even go to the extreme end, you got fired. That might be a reason for the gap. But the gap is not a problem. It is how you handle that gap. There are several ways you can be able to handle that gap in your CV, and here are some tips. Number one, prepare to answer questions. If you're asked this in an interview, or if they raise this, be ready to answer this question. Don't be taken by surprise. Be honest. It's always the best policy. When you're trying to explain it in your CV, be brief. Do not go into details. Discuss the valuable skills you gained during your gap. The alternative is, because I had this gap for one year, two years, why you just sitting at home doing nothing? Probably you tried some business. Probably you decided to take up a course or a to, to upskill yourself. What did you gain during that gap? Don't let it look as if everything was a vacuum, nothing happened there. And then consider a functional resume. Writing a resume or a CV that is functional based on what they are looking for. This is a simple example on how you can be able to address a gap in your CV. So this is experience one, between this year and this year, I was in ABC company. This was the role and our administrative assistant and you can list some responsibility. Then there was an employment gap. You can put the years between this and is. The reason why, I remember we said very short explanation, time spent relocating to a new city or state. You know, you can have a gap in your employment because you had to relocate and probably not even you, maybe your spouse got a job in another city or in another country. So you had to go with the family, but before you get your own job, there was a gap. You can easily explain it in a sentence and then continue. If the gap is clearing, don't try to hide it, address it head on. Some of the do's and don'ts, do not assume, so the do, do assume the employer will find out the gap through a basic employment check. So don't assume they won't know, so you assume that it is not there and hopefully they will not always think about, assume they will see it because they will do maybe some background check. Also, do show the gap in your resume, but explain it briefly. Please address the elephant in the room right away and explain it briefly. In two lines or less, simply state what you are doing. See employment gap example below. I think it has started first. I've shown you the example. What are the don'ts? Don't cover gaps in your CV with dates. Sometimes people will want to play around with the dates and then it ends up not adding up. Don't make up heroic reasons 
for a gap in your resume that you went to rescue whales in the beach. Employers can smell this honesty a mile away. So it's important for you to address it head on and not run away from it. Here's a simple explanation, especially if it gets to the point of an interview. Explain why you got the gap in your CV. Reassure the hiring manager why you won't do it again or you don't foresee yourself having such a situation. Reassure them. Make sure you also share what you picked along the way. What are the skills? What are the uh, insights? What is the wisdom that you got during that gap? And finally, keep it short. Sometimes when you over explain, you will expose and even say so many other things that are not necessary. I don't know if you have ever found yourself in that, such a situation, probably not even a job application, but in your own engagement with your colleague, with your parents, with your children, with your spouse, keep it short. The more you explain, the more chances you will mess things up.